uh, when I was writing that book, I was reading a lot about empire, and I discovered something very, very interesting, that most of the literature on empire is kind of favorable toward empire. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of admiring of empire. That, you know, empires are seen as grand accomplishments, as bringing stability uh, where there had been chaos, uh, bringing peace and dominion among these uh, squabbling tribes, you know. You see that in those movies, too, you know. The greatness of Rome. You must remember Rome. And we were like, we're all supposed to be sitting there going, Rome, oh, whoa. <laughs> and those are my ancestors, you know. Um, <laughs> We even give empires peace names. Pax Romana, Pax Britannica. Empires, but, but I'll tell you one thing. Um, I'll tell you that later. Empires, <laughs> empires are also often seen as, as innocent, unintentional accretions. They arise stochastically. Stochasticism, write it down, stochasticism is the theory that things happen by chance or random, that you can't see consistent patterns in this way. You know, just stuff happens. That's the way it is. Um, I remember in my, in my, uh, in my uh, salad days uh, hearing that the British Empire was put together in a fit of absent-mindedness. That, that used to be a phrase, used to hear that. I heard teachers say that to me. British historian Cyril Robinson, I quote him in the Caesar book, he says the same thing about the Roman Empire. Quote, it was perhaps almost as true of Rome as of Great Britain that she acquired her world domination in a fit of absence of mind. Yeah, right. More recently, or Robinson was writing back in the 1940s, I think. More recently, how about 2003, The Economist, an eminent conservative British publication, very eminent as you know, wrote the following in an unsigned editorial about, oh, in, in, um, in August 2003, about four months after the invasion of Iraq by U.S. forces, and this, this unsigned article was addressing that invasion. And it began like this. Empires are born in funny ways and sometimes via the law of unintended, unintended consequences by accident. <laughs> Empires are born by accident. There it is, accident. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Empires are not innocent, absent-minded, accidental, unintentional, accretions. They are given force by purpose-driven rulers who consciously have to mobilize vast amounts of men and materials to conquer and plunder far-off places. I mean, the British just didn't just happen to find themselves in India, you know. Oh, look, fancy this. We were thought we were going to go vacation in Greece and we took a turn and well, we're here now, we might as well plunder the place and <laughs> rip it all to pieces and get rich off it. How's the accent? Pretty good? Yeah. Lauren? 